Hey there, Improv Tipsters. Well, today's guest improv tipper is J.D. Walsh. Now, I love this guy because, first of all, uh, you have seen him everywhere. And as soon as you see him uh, in the video, you're like, I know that fucking guy from this, 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 and this. Yes, he's been everywhere, and he's uh, he's been an actor for a long time and has done all kinds of different things, like from Spider-Man, uh, um, a bunch of commercials, and Bad Boys 2. So he's close to my heart, if nothing else, for those things. But he's also the, the, creative, the artistic director of the Ultimate... Uh, theater in Westwood, and uh, he did a, a a little bit that I it is actually one of my favorite things of improv I've ever seen, and I'm gonna post the link down below. It's called Running Gun, and uh, I I won't say a ton about it other than it is a, a, a sort of a, a police drama that he improvised with people on the street. It is. Uh, great. It is worth the watch. Check it out. Uh, this guy is the real deal. Um, and uh, now he is uh, writing and directing. All of his uh, bio and stuff is down below, so you can check it out in detail. It's too much for my tiny brain to remember. But um, he has some great. He has a great tip for you today um, that I think is is the opposite of what uh, a lot of people sort of see right away when they think of improv. They think of going high status and really sort of taking control of the scene. But he has a, a really interesting, different take. So please. Sit back, relax, and enjoy J.D. Walsh. Thanks, Paul. First of all, I've watched a bunch of these videos, so to uh, be asked to do one of these videos means a lot to me, so I appreciate it. What I want to talk about is playing low status. Um, and this can sort of be summed up in uh, a line of dialogue we hear a lot in improv, which is, you missed a spot. And for me, when I hear people say, you missed a spot in a scene, what I see usually is, one performer trying to control the action of the entire scene. Remember, improv is about sort of uh, you give some and I give some and we, we, we share the information together and uh, we build the scene. But really, especially new improvisers, um, have a tendency to want to control the scene. And the reason why uh, I think this is, is because then they don't have to change what they're doing because of what somebody else said. I think that's one reason. The other reason is because when you are low status, you are uh, appearing as a performer to be weak and scared and to be nervous. But that's only your character, not who you are as a performer. And I think that in, in the midst of battle of a, of, a, of a scene, I think we forget that sometimes. I think that we don't want to look lame in front of other performers or to the audience, and so we don't play characters who are lame. And I think that a lot of improv uh, uh, has, has people who are all playing high status. You can hear it in their voices. They're all sort of talking like this. I'm higher status. Oh, well, really, I have a British accent. You know, like they just have this one-upsmanship. And if you can play a meek, small character, um, not only will you be able to move the story forward, but you will also be impressive to the audience and to the other performers because you're so confident uh, in your abilities that you are willing to uh, play those low status characters. Keith Johnstone in, in, in his book, Impro, had this one sort of workshop activity that I did not get when I was a beginner impro uh, improviser. And that was, there's a chair on stage, one person's sitting, and the other person's trying to convince them to get out of the chair, and the, uh, the activity ends when uh, they, you know, either the person doesn't get up or the person switches uh, with, the, uh, with the person who's standing up. And all I could think of when I read that was, I would never get up. I, I would never lose. Because I, I, that would mean that the, the other performer beat me. And I don't ever want to be beaten on stage. I want to be the. I want to be awesome, and I want people to be impressed by me. But, but that's the point of the workshop is to show you that sometimes, in fact, most times, the stronger improviser is the one who is willing to give up the fight and to lose and to move on with the scene. So if you find yourself in a transaction scene where you guys are debating how much something is going to be, or who cares what it is? Just agree. Just be like, ah, oh, that sounds good to me. And let's see what the scene is then. Okay? That's it. Thank you for having me. It, it means a lot to me. And uh, good luck improvising. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you would like to hear an improv tip about. And also, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks.